My God, how bright is that sun today? Well, I was doing the battery box yesterday, uh, and then I got a massive delivery turn up, massive box, and I thought, well, seeing it's like midday, I'll crack on with that. So basically, um, I've been working on, I was working on this. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't really get any good video of it, but um, I'll do a, a, I've got a few still shots that I'll stick in the video, and um, I'll give, I'll do a quick video round now. I've actually put it all back together, unfortunately, but uh, it was uh, challenging to work out which bolts go where, but um, I've got a little tape measure, and I measured it all, and uh, yeah, all good. A uh, couple of bits I've just got to redo, but yeah, all good, no probs. And I'll uh, I'll do a little vid underneath in a minute and show you what's all what it's all about. Right, so here's the video, guys, on how these uh, these all bolt together. This is an old step that I had on a, my old van. I've just got to pull that around, straighten off just here. Uh, I can't use that uh, electrical um, connection point there. I've got one that bolts on here, so when it pulls round, it just gives us a bit of a step into the van as well. Um, uh, this bolt here, I think it, I think it was this this one or that one. I can't remember. I think it was this one. This one had a white plastic sticker over the hole that was sprayed over, so from factory. So it was just this one in this one that was holding the original rear bar on. So it does say in the instructions that on certain mods you have to drill into this, but I actually just peeled it off. Uh, and there you go. I've got the um, I've got the uh, the hole there. So um, so these are all bolted on both sides, as you can see over there. The electrical connections go through the parking sensors up there. I don't know if this is going to interfere with the reversing um, sensors. Um, you get uh, this part here is for that part. Right, so this this side, because of this tow bar hook, slightly different. So what you do, you get a different designed bar that goes up. Tells you all in the instructions how to do it. And you get two of these spacers that fit inside there. So as you can see, it's wider. So you get two of those. They go on, uh, you bolt it with one of these bolts and a, nut and a spring washer on there. And then that creates a space where that can be tightened down and nice and tight onto there and that's it. So basically that's it. Um, let's say tow bar I've put it on the top there's two there's two fittings there you can either go there or the top one I'll put it on the top one see how we go if it's too high for my caravan or my um, trailer that I pull around as well I'll just drop it down to the lower one but I should imagine that'd be fine and it is a nice nice big big chunky tow bar that would um, cause a lot of damage if anybody drove into it. Set my tow bar. So, sun's out again today. So, I hope that um, 
makes a nice seat as well just need a cup of coffee to go with it uh, hope that helps guys um, little exp explanation um, sorry I didn't video the full install of this but uh, it was quite tricky to, to, to lift it and on your own quite heavy you get one bolt in one end as one of the photographs shows and then put the other side in uh, and then once all that's in you can then just generally uh, put all the nuts and bolts in work it all out and then once it's all aligned tighten it all down so yeah uh, please subscribe guys to the channel it does really help me out and hit the like button or the, the thumbs up or the thumbs down that would also uh, benefit me greatly all right okay guys as i say this was a uh, like an off the cuff video because i had a, a big box turn up and i had to get rid of get get it out of the way so to speak um yeah all right see you on the next one cheers guys